Hi, I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on what appears to be the sleeper of all sleepers. And the reason I say that is, well, Tony, what's a sleeper exactly? Well, I'll tell you what a sleeper is. A sleeper is this. A sleeper is this nice, old, beautifully restored car until you get on the gas and it passes you and you don't even know what happened. And this is exactly what's happened. Check this out. As we walk around this car, you're gonna say, wow, the restoration is fabulous on this thing, but what is that under the hood? And I'm gonna show you what all that means. So what I do like to start with first off is the exterior because you know what? You're gonna be walking up to it each time. You may wanna to go to a car show. Guaranteed this, you go to uh, dinner in this thing right here. They park this out front. They push the Porsche around the side. Everybody's talking about it, especially when they come out of the restaurant, they go, oh, I remember riding in that car. That's why people do this. So let's start with the paint quality here. This car has got so much equipment on it. It actually has two full window stickers here. All right, so we're gonna start so that you can see. Now listen, when I say that to you, you say, well, Tony, you show that on a lot of videos, why? Why? Because pictures don't really show you the real clarity of a car. A video shows you how deep and how uh, the quality and time and effort that you put into the paint. So here it's super great shine on it. We just pulled it off the showroom floor and you can see how nice everything looks in there. All right. Things like this, like all new chrome. Oh, so that's nice. Everybody puts new chrome on a car. Yeah, you're right. But on a car like this, when you put new chrome on it, it can be a $5,000 ordeal. Paint, another eight to $10,000. Do the underneath of this car like it's been done, add another three or $4,000 to it. So just the exterior of a car alone can be upwards in the fifteen dollars to $20,000 range. That's why buying a car when it's done like this is the best way to do it. So here's the cool part I love most about this car is it has a sleeper look with the wide whites and these painted rims right here. But the cool thing is we also have a set of 18 inch and 20 inch open wheels okay a set of koi c5s i can show you a picture just ask the guys inside they'll do that for you okay that can go on this car as well and give you a completely different look now you got this cool street rod right instead of the sleeper 55 look so some people love this look right here that's why i left it that way and some people want it to be a little more aggressive a little more sports car so behind there is power disc brakes you can't see them but i know that they're there all right so for instance like this these long panels look how good the fit and finish is on here all right you look down the side, and this is all new metal in here. It's not full of Bondo and plastic. It's got the wide whites, and the wide whites are nice because they're radials. So that makes it drive even nicer, all right? We just finished uh, washing a couple cars up here, so you might see a little bit of water. But like this right here, all painted inside, new trim. We walk around for this cool 55 styling, like check out this. And if you want, just a couple small touches changes this car completely. We could change these tips right here, which are old school 55s to a round tip more like a muscle car. So the wheels and tires and this tip on the back changes it everything, all right? So you got new bumpers back here, new emblems back here, but here's what I want to show you. Look underneath here. This is where the time and money is spent so that the car drives well. Gas tank's painted, the rear end's painted in detail, the shocks are a different color, the springs are a different color. It's not all spray bombed the black inside, right? Okay, so here's the surprise. The surprise is this, check this out. I love this, this is my favorite part. Whoa, how does this get in here? Okay, so this right here, this is the LS series engine with overdrive automatic, which you might find in today's modern vehicles, right? Making good amount of power, way more power than it was when it was stock. Air conditioning is here, all right? Look at the size of the radiator. The original opening is only this big for the radiator. This is an extra large uh, Be Cool radiator, right? So that you can drive uh, to a cruise or take it to the beach and idle in traffic with the AC on and have the comfort of all those things that you really love without worrying about the car overheating. Look how nicely done uh, the condenser is. Here's your power brakes that we talked about, the disc brakes right here, all right? And then the brain for the whole system because of transmission. This has fuel injection, this has uh, aluminum heads. I mean, it's just got a beautifully built piece of machinery and it gives you everything you need in a car to have old school styling, but great reliability, great power, and uh, an awesome, awesome cruising. Uh, especially with the overdrive automatic. All right, cool. So I want to, I want to say this. Listen for this. I want you to hear restoration. Listen. Look at how that just pops open. It's not full of plastic and ugliness. And look how nicely detailed it is in here. And you say, well, Tom, what's the big deal about a trunk? You're right. There is no big deal about a trunk because you're not going to spend a whole lot of time there. But when somebody does do all of these things, okay, all of these things to make. Uh, the car even better, you know that the rest of the car must be spectacular. 
for instance, a fifth wheel that's painted, all right, with a radial tire on it, the decals in here, all new weather stripping, trunk mat, I'll check out this over here, it's got the Dynamat in it right here for sound deadening, it's got all new wiring, front to rear, all right, got a kill switch right here to turn the car off if you're at a car show, so if you want to leave all the doors and things open, it doesn't kill the battery. The jack is all detailed and painted in here. So this cool thing is that this car has only uh, a few miles on it. So we're going to check it out. He restored it, and it was like his passion. Like that's what he did for therapy. I'm going to tell you what, it's probably not a bad idea. All right, let's check out the inside. All right, cool. So come on in. And normally I'd just jump up front, but I don't want to jump up front today. I'm going to jump back here. Because the reason why? Because this is why you buy these cars. Look how cool this is, man. Another couple goes out with you. The kids go out with you. Uh, this is a lot, a lot of fun. And you throw in the fact that it's all restored with modern drivetrain and air conditioning and a completely updated dash and all that stuff. And this is a blast. All right, so let me get back in the, uh, in the driver's seat so I can tell you a little more about it. So let's jump in the driver's seat here. How you doing? Mm. All right, circa 1955. So are the colors and things like that 55? Yes, but there's not a whole lot left of this car that's 1955, which is the good, uh, I feel. First off, the styling of this car is spectacular, so that should be good enough for you. And then throw in the fact that you can go someplace or a long trip or whatever is great. So let's check this stuff out. Fully modernized gauge right here. All right, this is Dakota Dash, the VHX series. All right, 160 mile an hour speedometer, 8,000 RPM tack. This car only has 276 miles on it, so you need to put 1,000 miles on it. You know, maybe get the oil change and have your mechanic check it over one more time, especially since it's really a fresh build, and that's what you want to do. As an upgraded sound system, even though it looks old school, this is all digital. So you can plug in your iPod, you can plug in. Uh, uh, you can charge your cell phones, you can do all that stuff. Even the glove box light works, man. That is so cool. I love this. All right. And over here, you got tilt wheel. All right. We had this custom made uh, leather three spoke, or sorry, the two spoke uh, billet, which has the finger cutouts in the back. It's just a wonderful, wonderful car. And I think that uh, even little stuff like this, I wanted to show you how new the glass is. That's all been redone. And quite honestly, it's just really, really comfortable. Anyway, Enough of my rambling. It's got a great sound to it. How about I start it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. And the cool thing is I didn't have to pump the gas. I didn't have to touch the gas pedal. It's today's modern drivetrain wrapped up in an old school body. Check out the sound from behind. All right, so let's close up the video on this car. Listen, I apologize, but I'm probably going to have to read off this uh, double page window sticker here because this car still has so much equipment that we probably didn't even talk about. We didn't talk about the stainless exhaust, the ha brand new Howe wiring harness. Um, we did talk about the, the tilt wheel and the air conditioning, the upgraded digital sound system, the disc brakes that are hiding in here, the modern drivetrain. It's just a spectacular piece. That alone is worth the price of admission. But when you drive down the, car, the road in this car, man, it's just a cool piece. I know you're smiling looking at the video. It's probably your second or third time looking at it going, wow, that's a really nice car. And you're right, it is a really, really nice car. Anyway, if we can find some way to get it in your garage, call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 55 Bel Air.